Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, Liverpool is about to play against Huddersfield, and kids are sleeping. And I thought about, you know, I should probably get a video out. And I was thinking, I wanted to show you another jersey from my collection initially, which probably would be this jersey since I've been talking about a few weeks ago. Is it fake or not? Uh, quick update I'm 95% confident it's the real deal. There are only two things. And we'll talk about this a little bit more if I eventually make the video because, you know, Nigeria, maybe I should do this around the Africa. Two things that uh, still make me unsure is this here is not as rounded on uh, the Nike template usually. Um, but, you know, I've never seen the one where it all the color extends. So I have to check a few more shirts there. Uh, and the other thing is that the tag here is not as shiny as the other tags that I have but the material feels right the pattern is correct um, I looked all that up so as I said 95% certain this is the real deal it is close enough that whatever it is it will count as part of my collection it is a beautiful wonderful shirt uh, of course, others might disagree. I was wearing it today for football shirt Friday at work. I mean, I wear almost almost always a football shirt. Um, and I think I won the day with this one because this is just an eye-catching shirt. So I decided to not do this shirt and I actually decided against the shirt. I won it since I ordered. I have a total of four shirts ordered and I was hoping that by today I have them all to go do this big unboxing video. But I only have two. So shall I pull out another shirt from my collection? I honestly don't want to... I'm a little bit tired of club soccer, at least this week. Um, I have a few jerseys to show you, but mm, not quite there yet. Uh, and, uh, you know, I will do probably a semi-final review, a preview for the Champions League or something like that. So, yeah, um, unboxing it is. And unboxing is, as I said, there are two missing. And I will probably do the second one. I really wanted to do a big unboxing video, but so be it. And it won't be too much of an unboxing. I mean, first of all, I got this nice envelope and the other one I got in a bag. So let's do the envelope first. Yeah, I'm gonna open this. Uh, I got this again from this flea market page. I know which one it is, uh, simply because the sender actually Send me a picture of the package. <laughs> uh, look at the nice Austrian stamps. All from best in Austria. And let's open this one up nicely. I paid for this 17 euros, I think, in total plus 2 euros 70 shipping, so basically 20. It is. The Iceland shirt from 2016 and let's look at it because I was not sure if this is the real deal I mean I studied the shirt and I thought it is close enough the one thing I keep still keeps off again is those sleeve cuffs seem a little bit wide but when I look at the area this is kind of this is just a plastic transfer this would be my first area shirt then inside, this looks absolutely real. Führer Island, Forward Iceland, I think this means. This color is weird. Gotta check that look. This is the standing color on the back. But I think I've seen... I wasn't aware that it, that it goes like this. This is two separate pieces. Uh, the front is actually... This is like the Nike jerseys from 98. I knew that that's that. Uh, the Iceland logo also looks alright-ish. Let's check it out a bit more. I mean, this dot pattern to me is the big thing. I mean, I wrote about it on, on, on my blog. And I think it is so smartly done. I mean, not only do I like this off-center 
stripe I really like that the dots kind of make space for the crest to make it a little bit more visible maybe the crest is a little bit off-center I think we should go here but that can happen the inset is there let's check it out a bit more I guess we got it I guess this is the real deal the feel of the jersey is not cheap that's for sure it's actually pretty nice I don't have this is my first area kit so I cannot really say I should have probably ordered the Parma one earlier this year but my wife and I and I think rightly so decided on the Ireland jersey that is was also Euro 2016 and is without a sponsor so it's a player version yep this is a pretty shirt this is absolutely gorgeous Iceland shirt much better than the current uh, the current one let's do it this way I absolutely love it. This is a real, and it's a classic. I mean, they made it in two to, to the quarterfinals in that one. Yes, they beat Austria. And yes, I was gutted at that at first, but to be honest, they deserved it. And gave us one of the best <laughs> internet thingies, at least if you're a metal fan, where they played black metal behind the Icelandic commentator who got famous. That was a really nice flag detail here. So yeah. I'm very happy to have this one. This is a great jersey. And then the other one. Oh, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I cannot believe that I have this jersey. And not because it's so rare, but because of the team. Uh, quick story. I'm gonna close the scissors here with which I opened the package. Quick story. Um, one of my inspirations to even start this channel is the hockey guy. Uh, great YouTube channel if you like NHL hockey. Uh, I'm not following him regularly during the regular season, but uh, during the playoffs I really watch his previous reviews uh, as well. But the most important thing is he wears in every video an NHL hockey jersey. He has meanwhile over 200. When I started watch, um, watching him, I think a year ago he had about 100. So he really buys almost monthly uh, great jerseys and he even said now now he is at a point in his collection where he only gets jerseys if they are special uh, he's very satisfied with it of course they only at the moment 31 soon to be 30 32 teams so it's a little bit easier to build up a huge collection I mean in soccer I collect almost all over the place I said national teams Maybe I want to have all the big national teams. I want to have all the big clubs and maybe with a slight focus on Serie A because that's the one that I do care about most. But the other thing that he did is um, he clearly states who are his three favorite teams and where's even the teams that he doesn't like after every video if someone wins or if he makes a preview he wears this and i know that um it was this he's um, one of his three teams i think his number two is boston or number, number, number three i think he has it pretty even uh is are the boston bruins and they were playing the toronto maple leafs and i was and it's not that he hates the leafs i think it's more the montreal canadians that he doesn't like and he actually makes a ranking of teams he, he, he likes and dislikes but you see him frequently wearing montreal uh jer jerseys and he even says yeah i go out and someone yells at me montreal sucks oh yeah they suck even if he's wearing that and confuses everyone and that guy got me to think i usually one exception is the germany shirt I usually buy only jerseys of the teams that I like and I only wear of those that I like. And if you remember when Germany beat the Netherlands, I said I gotta put on a Germany shirt uh, for that one. Doesn't didn't feel right, but it felt right for the channel. And so there are a few teams and I said, yeah, the Germany jersey, yeah, this was bound to happen. It fits nice in my collection, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I still love this jersey, honestly. Um, but I said there are for sure two teams that are not, uh, three, four teams that are not gonna come into my house. And that is the two teams, big teams from Vienna. That's Bayern Munich and that's Inter Milan. Um, pretty much. But then I thought the other day, um, what about, I mean, there are see, see, situations where I find myself out of necessity cheering for one of these teams or if they go far in a competition 
or I need to talk about them. It would be really nice to have them. Um, I'm actually still working on a Juventus shirt and it's not that it's like the Juventus. Juventus was actually always in my, for the longest time, my second team, I think now they're down to third, fourth, fifth, somewhere there. And I don't want to win, see them anything win in Serie A any, anymore. But I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should have one of those. I should have those teams too, if I can get it. And it would only be fair. And if you find a nice one, why not have it? And so I went on this same page and I found of one of those teams that I've just mentioned, a three euro shirt. With the only caveat, it's in great condition. It's a little bit too large. And the printing on the back is slightly, well, it's kind of damaged and that's why it was only three euros. Check on classic football shirts if you want to get the same shirt. Um, pay about 70 pounds or, or, or whatever so it was surely a deal and before I show it to you I gotta say I was I was the last weekend I saw it already last Friday and I was going back and forth back and forth shall I really do it this is a team that I've been rooting against my whole life and to me it felt more okay to get a Germany jersey because you know it's a national team um yes it's the big rival but you know i wanted to have a uh, jersey from every country that i've been to so it was bound to happen club teams i take a little bit more seriously uh because you know there are real rivalries at least from my part but then as I looked at this jersey more and more, I thought I actually really like this and I have even an emotional attachment to that. In addition, wouldn't it be nice to have a jersey from every city that you've been to? That's another task of mine, which won't be that easy. So I let it go for one day, for another. I knew it east and no, no one is going to bother with that um, too much. And I actually talked to, 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 to my wife and she said, you know, think about it. Uh, do you just want to be a fan or do you want to be a collector? I said, yeah, no, for me, this is in a way crossing a line. And in the end, I said, I really like this jersey. I have seen them play with exactly this player one day, a uh, long time ago, the late 90s, early 2000s. I think I should get this one. And I set up a meeting with this guy. He was from Linz. Uh, he's, he, he's working in a sports store, hence the Intersport bag. Uh, very, very close to where I work. And I went there, showed it to me. I said, I take it. Three euros. There's nothing left to lose. So let me show you what I got. It's a big moment for me. Ready? Ready? Inter. The Inter 99-2000 home jersey um, in XXL. So it's a little a little bit too large. Note actually the Inter logo is different than the current one. And if you're missing the Inter star here, which where it should be, it's actually in here, which kind of makes it even minor. Uh, of course, a beautiful Pirelli sponsor. It's maybe a little bit too wide striping. It's a little bit more what I call Barcelona striping than the Milan striping that I like. But it's a typically Nike uh, jersey, XXL. And now, uh, why I got it, it's the player on the back. Who is the most famous player for Inter in that time? Ronaldo. The nine is kind of badly damaged. If you look at it and I'm actually thinking I saw you can get the number set online still and I may want to try to get to glue another number over this but it's minor that shirt is in really good condition and it looks really well and yeah I have an inter jersey and I'm not unhappy about it I actually am happy that I have this one. It's a, it's a good looking jersey. I won't put it on a lot. Uh, my Milan fandom doesn't allow that. But now if I have to talk about Inter, I have something to put on. And to show you how serious I am, I have hanging here these shirts 
uh, as long as the club season is in the order that the league stands. And let's go. I already made a hanger here for Inter. Inter is ahead of Milan. Up Inter goes. I'm happy that Inter is ahead of Milan, of course not. But now you can see it fits. Now I've had a Juve and a Napoli jersey. I think those were the two that I really needed and the current Lazio, but gonna give me some time. Well, as I said, those are the two shirts that I got this week. And there should have been a third one at least, if not a fourth one. But hey, there's a video for next week. So I showed you two sh new shirts that I made, uh, that I acquired. Um, we'll look into all of these a little bit closer. Uh, I can tell the story I saw. Ronaldo playing this jersey once, so I will tell you the story when I look at this shirt a little bit closer. All right, let me know what you thought about the two jerseys. Um, I'm very ha happy about both of them. And the Iceland jersey is one that I have has been on my list and has always been expensive when I saw it, that I can get it for less than 20 bucks. Got to do it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.